Hello again everybody, my name is Josh Lott and welcome to the 6th episode of Wiremod Tutorials and in this episode we're going to be uh, teaching you how to make this cool little radar here in Gary's Mod. The first thing you want to do is you want to go under your spawn list and you want to go under Builder and then the General tab and at the very bottom of the list, so see we scroll down, there is a circle and you want to get yourself one of these nifty, oh no, you want to get yourself one of these circles right here. I'm just going to straighten them up because I'm OCD. And now the next thing you want to get is you want to go into the Specialized tab, but still under Builder. And you want to get one of these, I don't know what they're called, Window Curve 180 times 1 or X1. And you want to get this. It's essentially, it's a curved little uh, thingy here and it's solid, so it's not like one of these where you can just kind of go through it if you could fit. But this one's got a solid surface we can work on. And conveniently, it's the exact same size as this. See? Lovely. So the first thing we want to do is we want to drop that. Oh no, oh no what have I done? There we go. What you want to do is you want to go under Tools, and then Axis. Make sure all your settings are the same as mine, so 0, 0, and 0. And uh, I'm about to test this actually now. I don't know what this does, but it should actually aid what we're, with what we're doing. Now, see on my uh, things here, they've got little uh, cross thingies on them. Cross squares, a grid, and it helps me to just precision exactly where I want to click. And all of this uh, stuff here is on the smiley pack, which uh, will be linked in the description below. Anyway, so you want to go to the very center of your circle, which is this dot right here. And you want to just click in the very center, or as close to the center as you can, like that. And then on the ground, like that. And now you see that this thing here will, oh no, there we go, it'll rotate very freely like this on the ground, which is very nice, and if we right click, okay, everything's good. Now you want to straighten that up and just uh, freeze that for a sec. Now we want to grab our, our little curve piece over here, and we're going to easy weld it straight onto the uh, circle. So we're going to go into the weld tool, make sure everything's the same as mine. You want to click on the very center of the bottom, which is right there. Oh, no, wrong, wrong thing. You want to right-click with it, so you go like that. Why can't I do it? There you go. You right-click, and then you want to right-click again in the middle, like that. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is a bit funny. I've had a bit of a cold lately. Anyway, so you rotate this so it's about straight on, like that. And then we're on to step three. So step three, it means we need to go into the wire tab. Okay, here we are at step three, so we need to go into the wire tab, and if you want, I can make a video on the uh, favorites I've used, because in the upcoming videos I'm going to be using things that I've favorited, I can't be bothered scrolling down anymore. So I'll just, uh, just tell me if you want one of those videos. But anyways, what you want to do is you want to get yourself a gyroscope, which looks like one of these. And I've selected this model here, just because uh, I find it a bit easier to work with than this thing. So you want to just place one down, doesn't matter where right now, and you want to pick it up, and essentially we're going to weld it right there, which is the normal weld tool. Easy welding is when you right-click. You want to right-click on the very bottom of it, like in the center, like that, and then you want to place it right as close as you can to the center on the top here. And the other thing you want to keep note of is, see the uh, three values here? You want to get the middle one as close to 90, positive 90, I don't think there's a negative 90 on this, is it? No, you want to get the uh, bearing as close to 90 degrees as you can, so I'm going to try and uh, precision this very finely, so we're going to go back to about... There, that's about as close as I'm going to get, so that's uh, 90.022, but as close to 90 degrees as, we, as you can get, I've gotten to 90 exactly before, but... Can't do it now for some reason. The last thing you're going to need down here on the physical radar, oh, second last thing, is a ranger. Where is this? It's here. And you want to make sure that this range here is set to 1500, or anything you really want, but it needs to. you need to memorize that number. So we've got ours at 1500, and you want to place it, and this is where this, this here being solid comes in handy. You want to place it right about there. So you've got your beam coming out like this. You can easily disable the beam. Now make sure all of these settings are the same as mine. So output, unique ID, and this is the most important one here, output distance. You want to make sure that that's there. And just for the sake of this radar, I've got ignore world, which means if it sees this wall here, it's not really going to count it as a thing. It only counts entities and props. So that's nice. So you want to make sure all of these are the same, and I've got show beam on just for now, so that's fine. And you place it right there. 
the final thing you want to get is you want to get yourself a uh, so no normal tools. You want to get yourself a thruster, and I found setting it to 10 works nicely. But apparently up there, what it went to like 100. So I'm gonna see if it works okay like this. Place that down like this. Unfreeze everything. Turn it on. Hmm, see now it's got this resist. Oh, actually no, that thing's working fine. There we go. Now that's a nice speed, because the slower it is, the more accurate it is, but you don't want it too slow. So this here is a nice, manageable speed, so we're gonna just turn this off for now, like that. What you want to get yourself is you want to get yourself a an oscilloscope, which is under wire, so you want to scroll down and find one of those. And I've selected the uh, big green one, the uh, cheese, cheese, white, white, no. So I've got this model here, and we place it down. It's just a very nice big, it's big so it looks nice, and it's uh, the right size on this area anyways. You've got your oscilloscope, that's good. Now you want to get yourself a constant value, and you want to set the constant value to the same number that the ranger was. So our one was 1500, so we're going to place that, uh, we'll just place it up here for now. So we'll place it like that. Now what you want to do is you want to go under gates, and the rest of the things we need are just gates. Now I made a mistake before, what you need is the sign gate, uh, my back, oh it does work, okay, never mind. you want to get the sign gate, so it's S-I-N, and you want to make sure it is in degrees, not radius, it needs to be in degrees, and you just place that somewhere like this, and now, see the mistake, this degrees is on top, so I made the mistake when I got the cosine, which is C-O-S, I took, pick the top one, but that's radius, we want degrees, here we go, so place that there. Uh, that actually reminds me of a little joke about uh, trigonometry. Why didn't Sin and Tan go to the party? Just cause. So the next gates you want to get is you want to get the divide gate, which is an arithmetic one. You don't want anything else. You want divide arithmetic and you want to get two of those. Place them underneath, make it look neat. And you want to get the multiply, which is also a... Which is also arithmetic, which is there. I'm going to place those underneath. And this is all you need. So now we want to just wire it all up. So we wire X to the one of the multiplies. And now, depending on which way around you do this, actually, no, that's horrible. I'm going to need to make that invisible just because I like it invisible. So we'll change the width to zero. And now we go A to, oops, no. Get off this. I'm gonna go X to this one and Y to this one. Now I just like the uh, radar going this direction, but depending on which way you uh, which way you want which way depending on which way you wire around the X and the Y, it depends on which way the uh, circle's gonna go. But it doesn't affect it at all, so that's fine. So the next thing you want to do is you want to divide B. You want to put the B to the uh, constant value like this, and that's all we can do for now. Now we need to uh, wire up the other bits, so we're going to go A on, now this is important, actually no it's not important, just get one of the uh, trigger number two ones, so you want to get sine, and you want to wire sine up to the yaw, which is Y-A-W, on the uh, gyroscope. Now that's important, okay, it needs to be the yaw, because the yaw is the uh, direction that it's going in. So we want to do that to both of them, so we're going to, where is it, here we go, we're going to put yaw, now we want to divide a, which is the distance, oh no, what am I doing, the distance on the ranger by the uh, constant value, which is the distance. So basically what that's doing, and you want to do this for both of them by the way, what this is doing, it's saying basically get the distance from the ranger, which is going to be 1500 normally, but if something stands in front of it, let's say it goes to 50, it'll then go 1500 divided by 50, which gives you... Actually, I don't know what the heck that gives. Then the final thing you want to do is you want to wire A, which is sine, or and then you want to wire B to the uh, corresponding divide. And the same, but uh, and the same for the other one, like this. And that's all the wiring you need to do. The radar is turning around nicely, and we get our uh, visualization on the oscilloscope here. I'll stand here so we can see everything. And you'll see that if something goes in front of it, so I'll go and uh spawn something in, so let's just get, I don't know, let's get some zombies, characters, are there zombies? Yeah, here we go. Does that count as a zombie? That's a dead body. <sighs> okay, you know what, we'll get, you're gonna have to take my word for this. Actually, no, better still, screw this. We're taking the oscilloscope, guys. Ugh. Get out the door. Can we move this out the door? 
There we go. We're just gonna chuck it down over here. So put this right there. Okay, now you see if we stand in front of it, it dips in towards the center depending on how close it is. So if I stand closer here, there'll be a very little dip. Like that. And then if I stand very close to it, it'll do a very it'll do a bigger dip. There we go. Now it does glitch out occasionally, so it did two dips then, but most of the time it's pretty good. So if you get an entity like uh not that. What do I want? What am I looking for? Uh pono. Actually, why not? There we go. We've got a pony, and then you see that will dip in when it's detected. Come on. Bam. And then if I stand here, we'll get two readings. So we'll go one and then two. And that, my friends, is how you make a functional radar in Gary's Mod. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more of these videos, uh, leave a like and comment what you want me to build next. I've got submissions lined up and a little uh, database of mine, so I will be doing your. Oh no. Ugh. And I'll be doing your submissions later on in other videos. So I hope you look forward to seeing that, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.